through the Bloomberg Philanthropies Asphalt Art Initiative, we submitted a grant to cover uh, and beautify our traffic signal control boxes, sometimes called utility boxes, in our community. Sioux Falls is a community that loves our art. We love our public art. Um, but one thing that always is kind of clouded or dirtied up the city are these traffic signal boxes. They're big, they're at every corner, and they're free space. They're canvases waiting uh, to be beautified. And so we submitted a grant proposal to wrap those boxes with public art with the theme of One Sioux Falls. What makes the community neat? What makes Sioux Falls special? What makes Sioux Falls diverse? What makes Sioux Falls inclusive? And from those hundred of entries, we, we selected some of the winners and we've wrapped boxes like the one behind me all, all throughout the community. And so what I've noticed is that people drive around now and they're actually, their heads are turning, they're rubbernecking a little bit. They're noticing these boxes in ways they never had before uh, through the messages, hope, inspiration, community art, uh, that have really brought these corners of our city to life. The process was really reaching out to the community and in co creating collaborations with other community organizations that we could work with to get the call out, as well as to help design the call and make sure that it was equitable and uh, gave access to every, everyone within the community. 176 submissions came through, and out of that we selected 46 artists. Uh, since we made the process really easy, we had to do a lot of kind of doubling back. So uh, with the brochures that we received, we had to actually um, scan those all in. And some of the artwork that we had submitted digitally was just taken with the phone. So we actually had those uh, participants that were selected bring in their artwork, which we photographed professionally so that they could be created uh, these final graphics that you're seeing behind us. My name is Stacy Bautista and this is my piece called We Are the Sun. So my piece is based off the idea of um, inspiring inclusivity and celebrating the diversity in our community. So a couple things inspired this piece. The first being my background, I'm Hispanic and also Guatemalan American. Um, I'm also a first generation American so my parents uh, immigrated to the U.S. and I was born in California but I grew up in Sioux Falls and I've been living here for the past 23 years. When I was growing up, I felt that I really needed to fit in in order to be part of the community. Now looking back, um, I wish there would have been more representation in order for me to feel more part of the community. The events of 2020 did inspire this piece as well. Um, in particular, the Black Lives Matter movement and the Stop Asian Hate movement as well. Um, because of those events, I really wanted to emphasize celebrating the diversity in our community. I hope that people see a part of themselves in this piece and I hope that they feel excited to be a part of the community and most importantly welcome to be a part of the community as well. Hi, my name is Eric Pineapple Weber and my art piece behind me is called Hope. The design for the box is, I, always, I have two sayings and my motto is, um, today's a new day so live it and then the other one is to love out loud. And what that means is, I, and I use the hand gestures on there, is so that people could actually just see what's going on, but not only see it, it, they can also read it too. So I try to hit all aspects of art learning, and so they can actually do all the touching and reading and things like that. So when people are walking by and looking at the piece, or they're driving by, I just want them to know that there's hope and that they can live a new day and they can actually live not in depression or anxiety, but they get to live today. So it's just a new day, so I just hope they live it. Not only that, but the signature of a pineapple is, is, what I, is my signature on a lot of my art pieces. And it stands for standing tall, wearing a crown, and being sweet. I've always believed in the power of art and public spaces in their opportunities to bring people together, bring communities together, especially in a time where politics and policies can be so divisive. Art is one thing that uh, there's not a lot of divisiveness around. It really unites people and brings people together. Uh, and so when you can bring art into a community, into public spaces, even as simple as street corners, uh, it really is a way to unite a community and unite a city around the power of art. So in Sioux Falls, whether it's our sculpture walk or our big sculpture that goes over our river, uh, whether it's the many murals we have around this community or even just traffic utility boxes, art unifies a city 
Uh, and that's why this project has been great for the city of Sioux Falls. So I think any time that you can bring public art down to, to the public as far as like on a street level like this, it, it great, uh, creates more access for everybody to appreciate art. It's not behind the walls of a museum, so you don't have to actually walk into a space. And it's kind of unexpected, so maybe you're walking across the, park, across the street to go walk your dog, or you know, you're just coming to an event downtown. You'll be able to see these boxes kind of in these unexpected areas on these utility boxes, whereas as you normally wouldn't typically see artwork on. My name is Jamie Richardson. I'm the Artistic Director with the Lifescape Center for the Arts. The Sioux Falls Arts Council put out a call for art for the Art Box project, and we have so many eager artists that we're ready to create. They've been stuck inside for the past year, so we've been doing a lot of art while we're waiting at home to come back to life, right? And so we had nine of our artists at Lifescape submit artwork, and we were given a call by the Sioux Falls Arts Council a couple of months ago that said they loved our artwork so much they weren't gonna choose just one artist, they wanted to take all nine of them. So we're just so proud of our artists and tonight we're welcoming them, their families, all of our supporters to come down as we unveil the artwork here in downtown Sioux Falls. All right, so are we ready to see it, gang? Yes. All right, count us down. One. 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 Two. Three. Woo! <laughs> pendulum we went like up in the air with all these different colors. The paints were spinning and flying, oh, weren't they? Everywhere. <laughs> we made a hot mess. We did. But did we have fun? Oh, I would do it again. <laughs> like tomorrow. <laughs> very, very honored to be doing this. The artist did a very, very good job. Hi, my name is Amanda Berger and I'm an artist in Sioux Falls. I led the project for the Boys and Girls Club and it was inspired by Rene Magritte and his surrealist art, as well as the beautiful clouds in South Dakota. So number one, I think one of the amazing things about living in South Dakota is that we have these huge, beautiful, clear skies and we have amazing clouds as well. So I really wanted to play with that and have fun with that with the kids. We'd also just finished um, learning about Rene Magritte and his trompe l'oeil, which were um, objects hidden within other objects, kind of a trick of the eye. So we played with those things all together to make our clouds that had hidden, hidden imagery in it, such as elephants and wolves. And we also um, juxtapose that with ink blots, um, which also kind of invite the viewer to kind of play and imagine and be inspired. Clouds are really cool and I like making art about them. Yeah, I, lo I love making oceans because you can swim in them and you can play in the water. It was really fun and it feels good that like I achieved a goal and made my art on a electric box. <laughs> yeah. So aside from the Boys and Girls Club box, I also did get a box for my own personal artwork. So the work that was chosen for that box is called Coping Mechanism and it is from a series of coping mechanism pieces which came out of 2020. Um, so I was thinking about how a lot of us um, deal with the stresses of contemporary life, especially the last couple of years, which were pretty trying. I know there's a ton of art, a ton of memes online of um, how many people made banana bread and uh, you know never leaving their pajamas over the last couple of years. So I guess I kind of was addressing that with the painting that I made. So the painting is my friend Dylan, um, a male, reclined on a sofa with the glow of his phone illuminating him while the glow of the TV illuminates his foot. I liked the image because it kind of resembles like a classical odalesque, um, but at the same time it's imagery that's really identifiable for all of us living in today's culture. Some of the artists that you'll see on these art boxes aren't artists like I'd say with a capital A. That's not their profession, but maybe they do it on the side or for a hobby or they just enjoy doing it. And I, we found out a lot of artists kind of came out of the pandemic. So people that had never picked up a paintbrush or a pen before decided that they were going to spend their time at home creating something. So a lot of the artists that we're seeing here, we're seeing for the first time and we've never met those artists before. So it's really important as far as 
kind of creating this landscape of artists in our community and you know for Sioux Falls being such a big arts community it's, it's a cool another way that kind of another layer to the onion of of what art is here in Sioux Falls. Well I think it's very exciting to be part of this project. I think the project as a whole really emphasizes that Sioux Falls is a creative hub and reinforces the confidence within artists to um, continue to contribute creatively to the community. When I heard there was going to be an, an availability to put our artwork on boxes, I was like, wow, that is such a good thing because we can bring art to our community and we can bring a message of hope and to just bring some joy. I love the Utility Box Project. We have so much available space to make beautiful, to make this hardscape just a little more colorful, to make Sioux Falls a little more vibrant, and to make it accessible to everybody, to artists, to art supporters, to art lovers. We love downtown Sioux Falls and all the art that's available to us.